live. Happy, happy Monday, Monday, everyone. Woo! It is Monday again, and we are back here on our favorite show with Let's Talk with Nate and Bree. Yay! We're super excited. Oh my gosh. Welcome to you guys. I'm, I'm sure we're on. <laughs> And um, hey, maybe you can pin our show on your page. All right. So welcome, guys. Happy Monday to you. I'm going to share our posts and hopefully we'll give you guys some time to share as well. It is Monday again. It's a rainy Monday. It mm -hmm. rained today. I'm kind of upset about that because I washed, got my car washed yesterday. <laughs> Started off with a very clean car. I did my best. Hey, Miss Monica, welcome, lady, welcome. And if you guys are going to get on Facebook with your phone, just make sure that your volume is turned all the way down and uh, you can share that. I'm going to share. Um, let's see. So welcome, everyone. Just come on in. We're excited to have you tonight. We've got some newbies on the show tonight. This is their first time joining us. All right. Yay. All right. And I promise you can't wait to meet them. If you don't know the Alexanders, <laughs> we were we were laughing week before last at how long we've known each other. Like, oh. <laughs> we looked at each other. We said, "Oh my God, it's been that long, Lord it's Jesus." Long-term friends. Yes, yes. So how cool is that? Um, and the value of that. All right, so you guys come on and you have you still have time to um well, share. The reason our head is down, we are sharing. Yes, I let them know. So excuses for that. All right, so we're sharing, sharing, sharing. And uh we're glad to be on. Welcome everyone. All right, mom Newman is on. Hey, mom Everett, thank you so much. Um all right. Oh my gosh, money. Just be safe. Where whatever you're doing there, just be safe. Okay, love. So welcome to everyone. We're super, super, super excited. Hopefully, you guys have had a great. Oh, there's Auntie Sylvia. She's on. All right. <laughs> she made it on tonight. Thank you, Auntie Sylvia. You guys know um, Sylvia Davis. Uh, Auntie Sylvia Davis. I think you know her. And so, uh, yeah, I told her yesterday you guys are gonna be on the show. She's like. I'm coming on. Aww. Hey, Johnny's here. He always calls us mom and pop. Johnny Gonzalez. Oh my oh gosh. Lord. All right. We'll be What's mom up, and pop. Johnny? <laughs> we'll be mom and pop tonight. Yeah, the mom and pop show. Yeah, that's what he <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's one of a kind. He's one of, yeah, there's only one. one there's only one kind. Johnny Gonzalez. Buenos noches, mi amigo. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're glad to have him on and uh, glad to see each one of you. Hopefully you've been, you've enjoyed this rain. We know we need it. He's all like, what's up, Pop? We know we need it. <laughs> so we're excited. We have a wonderful couple on tonight and um, we're, we're excited for you guys to get to meet them. We're going to be talking about ministry, but we're definitely going to have some fun talking about them and, and letting you get to know them. Um, let's start off with some prayer, right, hon? Right. Yeah. Really so we're going to ask the man of God to open the show. Absolutely. Prayer. All right, Elder Thomas. <laughs> here we go. Let's see. I'm sharing here. Let's see. When... Oh, okay. Good, good. Right. Take that Beautiful. moment. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Yes, take that moment. All right, we can pray. I'm ready. Amen. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, dear Lord, our Father in heaven, we thank you for this. Thank you. Thank you. This uh, night after a rainy day, we're glad to be for the first time on Let mm -hmm. Yes. And so thank you for the invitation. Lord, we thank you for the uh, fellowship of friends. And we just uh, ask that you bless all that goes on this unscripted evening. And uh, just uh, let it be lively and let it be a benefit. Let it be a blessing to uh, other people. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank God. All right. So tonight we're going to be talking about ministry. And of course, as we have 
Um, just gone through so much. Um, pastors all around have just had so many challenges. And I'm ecstatic to introduce you all to longtime friends of mine. Oh my goodness. I, I don't think I want to say the date of <laughs> well, how long we've known each other, right? <laughs> Um, but let's just suffice it to say, neither one, none of us were married and, you know, we were the young folks be popping around the church, watching the old people do it. Right. And now, uh, now the roles have shifted just a tad. So I want to, just we bit, I want to, um, welcome to our show tonight, Elder Thomas and Pastor Jessica Alexander. Right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Invitation. So, I'm glad to be here. Yes, yes. So take a moment, um, Pastor Jay, ladies first. Um, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about you? Absolutely. So my name is Pastor Jessica Alexander. Um, actually, my name is just Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> But I always, I always say that people, they kind of know you by how they first met you. Mm. So, right. You right. know, that kind of sticks. So um, I am a pastor in San Bernardino. I'm so pleased to be um, leading Grace Chapel in San Bernardino. Awesome group of people. Amen. Yes. Amen. Um, I am um, wife to Thomas, right? Amen. Yeah. Mother to four beautiful uh, children. We call them. The, I call them the fabulous four. Right? Yeah, four. They're awesome kids. Awesome kids. Yeah. yeah. Anointed, gifted, intelligent. Right. Absolutely. Um, also, um, an attorney. Um, what else am I, dear? I'm so trying to remember all the things that I. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the list just goes on and on, right? being a friend and I always try to make time to be a friend so I think yeah. that's my my introduction that's <laughs> yeah that's an awesome introduction awesome, yes awesome. sir Good man job. of God all right as, uh, as the show goes on many of the other things she does will come out yeah it'll put it <laughs> foot in the door right. so uh, I'm Tom and uh my official title is just Tom <laughs> Just Tom, as in the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. So right now, just Tom living by faith. I'm yes, right amen. I'm husband to Jessica and also the father of the same four children. It's <laughs> very <laughs> so anyway, important. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, God's good. We, um, the, the, uh, I, I used to be an educator working at the Christian school. Um, I'm still an attorney. Um, Sometimes I, I, I get to help with the praise and worship music at the church Yay! with various, various instruments. <laughs> I was a bass player first, and then mm -hmm. they needed some more things. But um, but anyway, so I'm just Tom living by faith. And uh, so we have other things we like to do and other things we probably do. But, uh, you know, we're here. Glad to be. On. I, I'm <clears throat> The other thing that I am is a guest on Let's Talk. <laughs> and that's bumped up our status. That's just right. So. <laughs> a pleasure. Our pleasure. Well, you know, we had the awesome opportunity to be in worship with you guys a week ago. Yes, you I did. I had an awesome time. I was just so impressed yes. with, uh, with those four children of yours. I know. I mean, they ran the church. Yes, yes. Uh, all you have to do is get up and preach because they got everything they got else. Everything else. You know, they were singing, they was playing the, the instruments, instruments, they was checking the sounds yeah. and being friendly to the guests. I mean, hey, that's a team right there. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. You know what? I don't think that they've ever considered themselves junior members of the church. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> well, um, they're not. <laughs> no, they've always considered themselves full-fledged members of the church. Yeah, yeah, Whatever absolutely. We find our hands to do we will do it. And we are so grateful for that. Absolutely. I love it. I'm, I want to say active members of the church because we have yeah. a lot of people who are very committed to come, but they are not active. And so it was such a blessing to see, you know, all of your kids, just the whole family. It's a family affair, you guys, uh, ministry. And 
Um, they didn't at all look like they were like, oh my God, we have to see this again. No, they were, <laughs> they got in there and they did what they had to do. Yes. You know, without hesitation. I have a thought. Uh, I've, I've thought over the years that church is such a blessing mm -hmm. because it gives a forum, like an outlet to learn to do stuff that translates Absolutely. life. So whether it's, you know, I mean, uh, we, you know, we send our kids to music lessons and they go and maybe the other kids are just learning to play an instrument, mm -hmm. but when do they get a chance to use it? You know, right. oh, true. Good, that's true. Good enough to play in a band then you know, somebody may, may give you a, a, a chance. But at church, they just take you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, whatever you know, you get to use it. That's right. right. Or, or one more, public speaking, you know. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, now that's a big one. Yeah. 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 So, they, so when they say that the, the number one or number two fear of people is speaking it's in public and speaking, right? Yeah. Church, you got to stand up and say, I thank the Lord for being here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Get baptized and get the I got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You know. Testimony service will just completely eliminate your fear of public speaking. Just get up and testify a few times. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We are not afraid, are we? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I when I when I first got there, I I, I say, no, oh, she playing. She ain't she ain't she fronting over there. She's not finna play that organ, but she <laughs> She did. Oh, yes, she did. You know, did. and then, because uh, I asked her, I said, are you going to play? She said, yes. Yep. So it was just wonderful. <laughs> then your daughter, she led worship. Yes. You know, all, well, not all by herself with the assistance of her brothers and sisters. But, she, I mean, it's hard to stand up there and lead worship alone. Yes, it is. You know, you know that's really true. We, we had a slightly different format before the pandemic. Uh -huh. Right, of course, of course. We realized was that our kids, during the brief period of time that we paused, right, in-person services, our children missed it most. Mm. And so we had to rethink how we were going to do church in person safely. And they really were the ones that came up with how this was going to work. I mean, they looked at the all of the you know health guidelines. They looked at what other research, what other churches were doing, what other organizations were doing. Parking lot services. Parking lot right. services. They started telling us we can do this, and we're just right going to take over, right? Worship because we know that there were some people in that we're doing worship that may not feel as comfortable or maybe, you know, are in a high risk category. We will take a, we, we've been waiting for this moment. For this reason came we into the world. Right, right. <laughs> so we were like, are you sure you're, yeah, no, we know we got this. And so we're like, well, what can it hurt for them to start doing <laughs> Everybody's at home watching would just kind of like do this a uh, run through and we found that they were very capable and then when those individuals rejoined us they were like go young people go <laughs> all right absolutely spots were taken well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because what's gonna happen because you know so we were like we found um with my with my oldest daughter who started singing and leading worship um, we found that she was so encouraging to people um, and they just, they really enjoyed her taking that role on that we thought, okay, well, let's develop, let's develop that. Same thing with the children and, you know, with the, the music and all that stuff. We, we said, let's, let's let them develop that. I want to give some credit. The one that you said was playing the keyboard, the organ, the, um, the, it, it was, she took lessons from Pastor Simeon, from Minister Simeon. Oh, well, no wonder. All right. Yeah, actually. Right. But her in particular, she just kind of was like, okay, this is this is my instrument. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do, right. And then she got a few key points, yeah. yeah. Well, beautiful, beautiful. She that did, is, they all, they she's, did it is she the youngest? Um, middle, middle. No, she's in the middle. So we have, uh, okay. we have four kids, um, really don't even like to say middle because we have two in the middle. Two in the middle. So we, oh, okay. <laughs> we have, our oldest is 
16, 16 now. our middle twins are 14, okay. the baby is 10. Okay, and okay. He would take over and do everything. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, you guys, you get plenty of time to study because they got everything else. Yes. You know, and along with your wonderful husband, Yes. Who's supervising the whole setup. Yes. And who can and who actually get it in play himself? Yes. So that, that that's, was that's exciting beautiful. to see. That's yeah. I mean, it reminds me, it reminds me of how churches started. Mm -hmm. It was wow. the family. That's you right. Know, and, it, and it took the entire family to make it to work. To make it work. You know, we we started a fair uh, church in our family. And I mean, we did everything, everything. And clean, and including cleaning the toilet, yes, yes, changing the light bulbs. That's we right. We did all of that, you know. And then after we did all that, uh, we we taught uh, Bible study. So I mean, we we did everything. So I was really impressed with you, with your family. And uh, one thing uh, that was I thought was really nice and unique was that. I, you know, when I'm at a church, I, I, I like to meet people. Yeah. And so I was introducing myself to a lot of the people, there, especially the men. And, uh, and uh, it was one gentleman, he approached me before yeah. I could get to him. And he said, well, you know, I love my church, you know, and, uh, and he asked for the name of the show, even yes, before you yes, guys were going to yes, be a guest, yeah, he you know, the and then I said, okay, well, how are you doing? And what's your name? And what you up to? He said, well, you know, I, I, I'm uh, in college and, and I live in a men's home. So I noticed that you guys have a lot of people that you really cater to that need a, 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 a Christian foundation. Mm. They need the word of God as a, as a cornerstone, right. you know? And so it's, you guys are doing real ministry out real there, ministry. you know? And, uh, and, and when we got there, there was a gentleman waiting for us. Yes. I he mean, was on his post. I mean, look, and he would not leave that post and uh, and he and he kept coming out like I I got this room back here ready and and so we were outside talking yeah but he just stood there and waited just as patiently went open the doors for us <laughs> I mean that guy was on his excellent you could, job you could leave the church to him any day <laughs> you know what's so funny I was telling the church on Sunday the same gentleman that waited for you outside and all of the men are to be commended all of the yes people absolutely. Are particular gentleman who opened the door for you and you know was waiting for you I I needed to meet him at the church on Friday my husband okay. was not going to for a, a meeting and okay. I thought who can I call who can I call okay I'll call the brother I'll call the brother and I called him I couldn't reach him I said well it's okay kids are with me they'll be my wing people <laughs> all right there you go back to the church I realized he was already there Already wow. there, wow! Yeah, he was already there. He was cleaning the church. That's why he didn't hear the call. I believe it. I believe it. She said, "I'm, I'm, I'm doing my duties, Pastor." I'm here. <laughs> so, you know, God has people in the body of Christ to to do everything if they're right. obedient. Right. To do everything. And to Him right. is an honor to serve the Lord in the capacity that He's, you know, Thank you, come Jesus. into. So uh, he said, yeah, you could see it. You could yes. see it. He did it proudly. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he he didn't skip a beat. He didn't miss a step. That guy was all over the place, you know. And I was like, wow. Now, if every church had one of him, yes, the world would be a better place. My God. You have yeah. to tell him we said that. Yeah, you have I to mean, tell he, him. he's awesome. And I'll I make think, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say that again. I'll make sure he sees the show. Yeah, yes. please do. We please do. I was really impressed yeah. with him. I think we all were. And we'd know. love to hear um, your strategy for how you have um, structured, you know, your ministry. Let you know, talk to us about those key points in terms of teaching. We talked about the opportunity to serve. Church becomes. Um, ministry becomes that opportunity to sharpen and utilize your gifts. Um, mm -hmm. And certainly you have a wonderful process where you've just gathered this wonderful, wonderfully faithful group. Um, talk to us about the things that you've done um, to put that in place in your ministry there at Grace Chapel. So one of the, the funny things is that when we, when we came to leave Grace Chapel, 
we had obviously had ministry experience because both of our fathers are had pastors. been pastors, right? Or right, pastors. right. What's funny is we get there on day one, and you know, just because you're a PK doesn't mean that you are you know, that you do everything in the church, you know, sometimes there's some people that do that. So the first time I was like, okay, I'm getting an altar call and I'm looking around going, how come the ministers aren't already up here? Like, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. We have to do that. And then <laughs> around, I need water. And I'm like, how come the water is not already? Oh, wait, oh, we right. have water. So, <laughs> It was a very humbling experience to realize right, that right. people just don't know to do that. That took years of training, right? Um, and so we were like, okay, we have to figure this out. So um, the Lord just started giving us vision about what the specific purpose of our ministry would be. And um, we, we take the letters grace, right? G-R-A-C-E to really... Mm -hmm explain that to those that are both actively engaged in our ministry and those that are coming into our ministry. So okay. we'll kind of go, go through that. So um, the G- I'll just spell the letters, okay? It starts with a G. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so G in grace stands for gather because we know that this, this the New Testament church, that's what they did. They gather. Absolutely. They Together, they had everything in common and the bible tells us in the new testament that in the book of hebrews that we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together and so you know we had to first like explain to people you got to come to church right it's yes. not like a sometimey thing you've got to absolutely come to right it's important and then okay but yeah, yeah. Our, before you get to the garden while we're still <laughs> on the g the uh so it's quite interesting in 2020 then when everything shuts down, you know, the first letter in our mission, right. in our vision is the, the, that we gather. And so, um, so it is important that, that the kids said, you know what, what can we do? How soon can we, what rule yes. will some kind of way to get back together? And right. so um, it did start with a parking lot service. And, uh, and we had, you know, we had a, a, a large group of people that all came together. Another church teamed up and said, oh, we were willing to do that too. Right. And we had right. a kind of combined right. phenomenal. And then, but that led into the tent outside, uh, some friends and, you know, fellow musicians would come by and, and participate along with us. And we just had fun for about a year outside because we were going to gather one way or another. Right. And wow. uh, that, was, uh, that was a really a way for us to continue something that was very important to the church, wow. even though the beautiful. Right. So, and so the R, R is for reaching out. So mm. although we're gathering together, we also have to remember that we need to reach the lost, that we need absolutely church and those that are are you know brokenhearted and, and destitute. And so we never want to lose um, that that core value that we're supposed to be reaching out to absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely Christ what well, we right. found ways that we found to be able to do that have included over mm -hmm. the years that's just I might add a couple I mean in addition to going you know door to door passing out flyers inviting right. people to church or going to the park or you know, whatever but um, you know um, there was there was a senior community we adopted a senior um uh, apartment complex mm -hmm. we've adopted another one and minister specifically to children okay We're now launching into high schools and reaching out to high school age wow so we have to find different ways to do it but it's all the same we're reaching out absolutely absolutely nice. yes yeah. great and is um stands for anointed anointed so, so um the spirit of the lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good oh, news and, go do stuff. and we never want to get together and just have a dead dry service we always want to invite the spirit of the lord his anointing amen God, which breaks yokes of mm -hmm. people's lives and so 
we, we, we need his anointing to do that. It, I mean, otherwise, what are we doing? We're just having a program or being religious, but we know we need to be anointed. That's so Absolutely. Good. C. C is for <laughs> charity, and we know that that means love. I think right. that, I mean, our church has, you know, been a church of love, you know, that we get that one. You know, it's just important to us that when we, whatever we do, we do it with love. Even when you have to tell something, someone something that's, you know, difficult, do it with right. love. And it, right, right bonds our church together and helps us to understand how to interact with each other. It's the highest value in the kingdom is love. It's the first of the fruit of the spirit that's listed. Yes. So we have the greatest to greatest of those three it's things that remain. Yes. Absolutely. It has to be done with love, with charity. Uh, and e, the last one is E. e and e. that's ex <laughs> excellence because a lot of people think that because you don't have everything, right? that you need or want in a ministry that you can't do it with excellence. And that's just not true. Excellence with five people, 10 people. Right, right. You know, I think that we should be preaching and teaching with excellence, whether we have a full church, a small church, online church. Um, and so it, it drives us. And, um, you know, uh, people that had a spirit of excellence in the Bible, like Daniel, mm -hmm. you know, I think who was running <laughs> the kingdom, <laughs> you know, with excellence, had an excellent spirit. And so we encourage people, like some of the ones you mentioned, to have um, excellence in all that you do. So that's that's kind of been Absolutely. how we invite people in. Yeah, so your church is like, when I, I pulled up, I, I think that was my first time there. I think I mm -hmm. might've been there one, one other time, I'm not sure. Yeah, we were for um, Apostle Henry's brother's funeral. Yeah, it was a funeral, right, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. right. And, but your church is like an oasis mm -hmm. and a place where it's like really needed. Mm -hmm. You understand it's what I'm saying? Right in. I mean, you know, it's a big airport there and then just right in the middle of, of yeah. nothing else, is this haven yes. where people can go and hear the word of God, be encouraged, have a place to go. Like the men that I were talking to, they was like, it was, it was their hangout. Yeah. <laughs> it was their yeah. place to go. I mean, what better place to go to go <laughs> and hang out than the church of the it. living God, yeah. you know? And, and it was, and, and that's why they're so excited. They had something that they call their own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, they they felt like they had something that belonged to them and something that they belonged to, and it's just really incredible to watch. I to watch. Something with you, and thank you for saying that. We found that there was a shift in our church during the pandemic. Um, uh huh. Um, when we were indoors, a lot of the, you know, move around, do this, do that kind of stuff was done by a lot of the women in our church. We right, had a, right, right. You know, ushers, majority, you know, praise team or whatever. But during the pandemic, not that the men weren't there, I'm, I'm just talking about in terms of being active. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. The pandemic that, that completely shifted. Why? When we went outside, the men set up. Right. When we were outside, the men were doing security to make sure that the service was not in, uninterrupted. When people were passing by and would see us outside, the men would go and talk to them and invite them in, under the tent. So we began to see a very positive shift and a very enthusiastic group of men. So even when we went back indoors, what did we start with? Men's Bible study. Wow. So beautiful, wow. beautiful. You know, six months yeah. to, or so, only the men and the women were complaining, Pastor Bernetta. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yeah. Well, you know what? On those cold days when you guys stayed at home, the men were here. So what yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna start <laughs> with just them. Oh. <laughs> took them inside. Right, and, right. We want them to lead the way. Let the men go on inside and lead the way. And that's how we started it. We had all our best lessons then, too, with just the guys. <laughs> oh, and they made us extra. women. They made the women so, oh, oh. Well, 
Oh, it, it's coming, but we are <laughs> give them their time, right? Right, right, right. Church on Sunday, we hadn't seen her in a while. She goes, oh, I heard Bible study is for everyone now. I said, no, it was always for everyone. Right, it's just gotcha. that the end. <laughs> So um, that's that's actually been a very positive thing, would you say? Oh, yeah, it was excellent. Yeah, yeah, I believe that, yeah. You the know what? Yeah. The you man leading. Yeah, you mentioned the Oasis right there next to the airport. Well, we just got the news about two weeks ago that San Bernardino Airport is going to start flying passenger flights in and out of the airport. Oh, wow. Be able to take, what's the name of it? Spirit? No, no it's Breeze. Um, Breeze. Breeze. Breeze, Airways. Breeze Airlines fly right into San Bernardino, walk across the street to Grace Chapel Church. Hallelujah. And then they fly on. All right now. Wow. The Lord, the Lord will make a way. <laughs> How ex I just got chills. That is so exciting. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Airport church. Like officially, there's people that are flying in now as of this summer. So that's beautiful. Really cool. Yeah, it's really exciting. But as we're seeing the area um, change and develop, we're yeah. right in the middle of all of it. Right, right. in the middle. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. That's so, why I call it an oasis. Yeah. I mean, it's just. Whatever you do, you're going to have to pass up Grace Chapel. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, Minister Anita Austin is on the, hey. in the chat. Hey. hey, lady. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> A blast from the past. Yeah. I'm glad to see her on there. Bless you, lady. So, the next, so we sort of named this show reaching the unchurched mm -hmm. during trying times mm -hmm. and yeah. and that's what you guys are doing really doing that's what you guys are doing really you know doing. uh a friendly atmosphere mm -hmm. you know you know everybody the deacon at the back door everybody's yeah. friendly you know and then because i'm like this if if i if i'm in a church and everybody's claiming to just you know be buddy buddy pals with the lord and don't need nothing because we got everything. And that's not necessarily church to me. Right. Right. Church is when you're helping people. Right. Say that again, Pastor Jessica. Like when everybody looks perfect on the outside. Yes. Absolutely. And that's been that's been the that's been a, a problem for the church as far as growth because people come in and they're sort of intimidated by that you know mm -hmm. but if they come into an atmosphere where love is being displayed and they see people just like themselves yes you know and then they get the word of god yes. <laughs> so i mean that's awesome one thing that i think people don't know about our church is that we have a very active ministry to homeless individuals right mm -hmm. right and that's what goes on Monday through Friday. Right. Yeah, tell, through Friday. Us, tell us about that. Tell yeah, us about yeah, that. Tell us about it. So our, our ministry to homeless individuals is Operation Grace. We have a women's shelter, a homeless women's shelter. Okay. So during the pandemic, we saw several of them just decide on their own to, we need to come to church because the world is crazy, right? <laughs> Um, and that's typically how it happens very organically. We don't want to force anyone to come to church at all, but right. they, our lifestyle, they see how, you know, much we love and actually care about their well being. So it makes them say, who are these people? And let me check them out, you know? And so people will, will come and just sit in the service and just, you know, feel loved. And it's a place to heal for them. So yeah. Have, you know, people have had people right come in right off the street on Sunday morning, okay. you know, get down, get baptized, receive the Holy Spirit, and then get some clothing and some All right. housing navigation and get connected with our homeless, you know, um, advocates and, and employees on Monday. So it's kind of the whole package, right? That Jesus. Right his care um, about one part of us or the other. He really offered every everything. Everything, my Lord. So in addition to the homelessness, there's the food programs. Right. Both of the food programs. You want to talk That's about the this. other thing. With the food program, 
man, during the pandemic, especially, it, it has gone on for years already, but during the pandemic, we actually saw more people coming to our church for food, but also getting out of the car, even though it was just a drive through getting out of the car and saying, I really need prayer. Right, and beautiful. On site on those days. So our same, you know, ministry team is there to say, sure, we'll pray for you right now. Absolutely. You know? Yes. yes. Um, we have a specific outreach just to homeless individuals on Wednesday mornings. And our team has now been trained to pray with individuals that are coming, um, that are, you know, coming literally off the street. And those same individuals that you said are so excited to come to church on Sunday, they were the ones that when this program was launched, they said, we can run that on, you know, on Wednesday. Oh, absolutely. New in Bible studies. And so they, you know, they're excited to volunteer yes. to over and help. We have so many volunteers now. We have to and then, break it up in shifts. <laughs> and then it, they Bible study. Yeah. So on Wednesday mornings, they'll go over uh, for breakfast or brunch or lunch to um, people coming right off the street. Um, if they need prayer, pray over them and then invite them to the afternoon Bible study. So it's just kind of a flow now that. Wow. It's so, I mean, that's outreach. That's the love. Wow, that's, that's beautiful. And that's what I mean. They feel they feel a part of something. Yes. You know, in this area where you could tell like they really didn't have anything right that they could call their own. It's you you, you say you guys are, are are reaching out, but they were actually reaching out also. You know, mm -hmm. they they wow. needed they needed you guys just as well as you needed them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to come in and be a part of the body of Christ. They needed to be a part of something. Wow. You know, and it, and it's just so plain to see that yes. when you're at your church, you know, yes. these guys feel like they have been saved for real. Yes. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yes. Saved yes. for real, you yes. know. Well, the Bible says the one that's forgiven much loves much. Absolutely. Yes. I think that they know that they've been forgiven by gracious God. They know that we as leaders don't see them as any less, right? Than God. Right. And I think that that drives their love for other people. Mm -hmm. whether right. And so what I see is a whole lot of grace moving around grace. Right yes, now. absolutely. That's so I, good. I mean, I, well said, yeah, Pastor. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love the environment because yeah. as, a, as a minister, you know, as a pastor, mm. you know, we we although we've given out, we need to be fulfilled also, mm -hmm. and it's just not not so much fulfilling when we can't really reach out to people who really and truly need, need, us. need us. You understand a lot. A lot of times we're in in in, in settings where yes. everybody is like feel they're on the same level, you know, and they feel like or they pretend. Like, you know, life is all milk and honey, mm -hmm. you know, but we all go through. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at your church, you know, you know, no one had a, a, a problem sharing. And, and yeah. you know what? They didn't have they didn't have sad stories. Mm -hmm. I want to make that clear. They didn't have sad stories. They were excited to be connected right. to the ministry. Yeah. And yeah. that was awesome. That was awesome. I can say, um, you know. When you come into grace, we, we already know you have issues because we all got issues. So there's no need that's pretending, right? Right. So just admit that we all have issues, all right? Have issues. Yeah. We all <laughs> the Bible says all have sin and right. come to the glory of God. Right. right. So either we know your issue or we're about to know it. So let's just absolutely uh, there you go. Right. And admit that we're walking by faith. We're by gonna faith. We're not going to get it right 100% of the time. That's what grace is for, right? So we're not looking at you weird because, you know, you missed a Sunday or whatever. Right. <laughs> we're just here to encourage you and lift you up and check on you and care about you. Absolutely. Yeah. There's something that you said, Nate, about uh, a minute ago that, that people, like, they feel like they were saved from something, you know? Yeah. They're, you know, they're saved. The, it, it reminded me of the scripture, 2 Peter chapter 1. And after Peter goes down the list of add to your faith, virtue, mm -hmm. you know, um, charity, 
Yeah. And so yeah, mm -hmm. all those guys. Right, right. The list and said, if you do these things, you'll never fall. never fall. He said, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. Oh, and have that he was God. Oh sin. my God. We can't forget that we've been perfect. Right. That we used to be something, but we're not that anymore. Right. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. You know, God saved me from something. Mm -hmm. and nothing. New, then, you know, there's an excitement. Uh, and, you know, God can take us, I'm sure, miles from there. So. That's good. Yeah, yeah what a powerful uh, passage good. of scripture. Yeah. They have forgotten yes. that we have been purged wow. from our sin. Oh. We're, operating, we're operating like we're still bondage to it. Come on. Yeah. Or that we never needed or that, deliverance. Yeah. Yeah. Or, we, or we never acknowledged One that God or the had other. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So that, that's a powerful scripture. Got to find the truth in the middle of those two. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> right. That balance, that straight and narrow. Right, right, so, right, right. Um, I was very uh, much impacted um, because we talked back in February. You've got this wonderful theme going oh. about first things first. Oh. And um, man, I was just touched by, um, I'm, I, I need to say, just send me that stuff every month. Cause I definitely want to be connected <laughs> to that. Um, and this month was get wisdom and what a powerful time we had together. Just talking about the value of the insight that the spirit of God will give you, um, to be able to manage. And you guys are such an example of how you have allowed God to do that. But this wonderful theme, first things first. And uh, why don't you tell us more about that, Pastor Jessica, and give us an, uh, give us an outline. Where's that going? What, what, uh, what has the Lord told you? <laughs> well, you? Well, usually we start, you know, praying and seeking the Lord, you know, October, November, because we're thinking about the new year. And our church knows that every month they're going to get a newsletter and it's going to guide them in scripture reading because we want to make right. sure everybody's on the same page as far as right reading. absolutely of course you do your own but we want everybody to kind of come to bible study having read the scriptures or having you know kind of tasted the word and went mm -hmm. an appetite for where we're going so the lord started speaking to me toward the end of last year about first things first making god's priorities our priorities mm getting things in order, both in our own personal lives and in the house of God. Mm -hmm. What I'm realizing is that for some, the pandemic made us a little bit lazy, right? In, in terms Absolutely. Of what our expectations were, you know, what we should or shouldn't do. And I believe that we start putting things back in their order as God sees them. My Lord, yes called the house to prayer in the month of January, consecration, prayer, fasting, seeking the Lord, because we realized that corporately as a church, we had several things that we have been seeking God for that we wanted to enhance our community, but we were stuck, right? Um, whew, we were stuck and we couldn't figure out why we were stuck. And right. to speak and said, put the house in order. You right. know, First things first. So we begin to seek the Lord coming together for prayer, right? Coming together to acknowledge the Lord and, you know, coming together to repent, coming together to, you know, um, take care of, you know, the things of God and each other's needs. And we started to see week by week a shift mm. things that we were praying and asking God for. Because the Bible tells us in Matthew 6, 33, that if we seek first mm -hmm, the kingdom, um, right, that in his righteousness that all of these things will be added and right. work for the things. Let's just acknowledge God. His right. It. So we began talking about, you know, how do we seek the Lord? And we started to talk about getting things in order in our, in the things that we think the things that we say and the things that we do in our lives. Because um, I believe that too often our thought life goes unchecked. We'll oh my goodness. 
in church, right? Yeah. My goodness. Thoughts run wild, but let's just be honest. The Lord knows our thoughts. He knows. My yes, Lord. he does. We started my Lord. with the unseen, invisible part of us mm. that we needed to check and, and with our thoughts. And then, um, you know, we know that thoughts lead to, to words. <laughs> and we started to talk about, you know, um, our words, the words that we say, too many people were just entirely too neg negative, right? Mm -hmm. And God's word, words right. of faith, right? right? And then, of course, the things that we do. Speak God words, get God results. Absolutely. Uh, we moved oh, from God. that foundational truth, right, into um, love in the month of February um, because... You can speak on that a little bit. Love. Well, mm -hmm. you said our, our thoughts and our words, and then the next one was our ways. So our I thought ways. that's where you're going. Mm -hmm. And then, and so, yeah, so your thoughts lead to your words, and then your mm -hmm. words, uh, you know, your, your behaviors follow that. And again, speak God's words, get God's results, do things God's way. And then, you know, the Lord knows the way of the righteous. Yeah, the other it's way. God's rewards. Very good. Yes, okay. Yes. So, uh, but before we get to, to February, mm -hmm. the, um, I get usually I get the privilege and, and uh, the fourth week of the month to back clean up, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But but here's why I say that in January it turned out that the fourth message was um, the uh, where the Lord said in Haggai, mm. it, is it time to build your own houses when oh. the house is laying waste? And so yeah. yeah in that uh, last week of the month we got a chance to to consider so our ways, ways you know yes. my and goodness after you consider your ways and you decide to prioritize me he said consider this day because from this day forward i'm gonna bless you and what happened was we had mm -hmm. you know the the folks that are our, 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 our the little flock they um they you know got in line to uh, consider the lord's way put him first and then in, by the time, you know, no sooner had that happened, but in the month of February, things started breaking through uh, mm. for the church, uh, some things that Pastor Jessica might talk about, some things that will be, you know, will be uh, unveiled soon. Uh, right, right, right. Things in business, they started, you know, breaking through one, wow. uh, you know, once we put yeah. first things first. Well, the Lord put was the Lord first. Please. Beautiful. The Lord was pleased with our, with initiating that, you know, with yes. and uh, we moved in, into love February, yes. um, in February because we understand love's place in the kingdom. We talked about this as the first of the fruit of the spirit. Um, it's, you know, the greatest of the three things that will remain, faith, hope, yes. and love, right? In that first verse, Corinthians 13, um, uh, we can have a lot of things, but if we don't pass the love test, right? Right, right, absolutely. And so we spoke on that, beautiful breakthroughs, amen, on love. Amen. We get to wisdom, because the Bible says that wisdom is the principal, the principal thing. Right, right. These are things that are important to God, <laughs> right? Absolutely. Prioritizing these, we have to look at what's important to God. You know, uh, my husband preached a beautiful uh, message on Sunday about wisdom. Um, it was called, What Will You Do With Your Wisdom? Mm. And he talked about what God did with his wisdom. God, the Lord, the by Lord, wisdom, founded the earth. All right, said, now. And then he said, Look at what Solomon did with his wisdom. He right. reigned over all of these lands. Right, I mean, right. Proverbs and he wrote a thousand songs and he taught mm -hmm. by animal examples and he taught about human nature and spiritual things. Right, right, right. But when he said, What will you do with your wisdom? Mm -hmm. he said, Somebody needs wisdom to raise a family. Somebody mm -hmm. needs wisdom, and with your wisdom, you're going to start a business. With mm -hmm. your wisdom, what did you say? Uh, some people go into leadership, into government, like right. the Daniel and Joseph. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. You know, and just various things. Some people will uh, create things that have never been seen never before been created because, because uh, with wisdom, the Bible says, with wisdom comes knowledge by witty inventions. Witty inventions. So, so, um, so that was a challenge to all of us. I was so encouraged by that. Yes. 
ask myself, what will I do with what I know, right? Right, right. right. We're just sharing a little wisdom. <laughs> um, that was beautiful. So where are we going next? Well, I'll tell you at least the next month. We are going to be talking about the, the preeminence of praise. Mm. In oh, wow. Okay. April. You know, um, the, 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 the Bible talks about battles where the praisers were sent first. They were in Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Why did God do that? Why was right, that? Right, right. So he was trying to teach us his ways there. And his, his ways. And praise is on the top of God's mind. Yes. So there's a reason all of these beautiful psalms are here recorded in the text for us so that we can look to them and we can adopt them and write songs from them and, and yes. sing, read them over ourselves. These are praises. And so um, there were specific words um in hebrew about praise that mm -hmm. we forget oftentimes there are different ways to praise right and meanings behind those words of praise so we're going Excellent. to dive in about why praise is so important to wow God. yes Yay. yes 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 first, we'll put it first um yes one of my good friend says, I, I praise on purpose. And even if I don't feel like it, I'll praise <laughs> right. my body, right? Yes. Do and not the other way around. So my mood, I cannot allow my mood uh, to impact my praise because yes. first, it happens whether I feel like it or not. So there you wow. go. Absolutely. What a lesson. Amen. What a Amen. lesson. Oh my gosh, so powerful. Such so wonderful. we're sort of we're sort of down to like maybe seven minutes. Oh my gosh. Time goes really Where fast. Did the time yeah. Go? You know, so but I I now correct me if I'm wrong, but I want I want you to speak on something. Uh from my understanding, the church that you pastor, your father was the pastor, right? True. Am I right? Yes. All right, then your father passed, right? No, no, no. He's still, you know, he's retired now. Okay. But actually, our PKs. And okay, so so you guys, you became the pastor. Am I? I'm on the right track. Okay, yeah. now, so my question to you, and uh, so I guess I have her father mixed up with another Alexander. Then. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All um, right. So. Yeah. Alexander. I'm Alexander, but. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. right, right. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. And so, there's so many, there's so of, them, many of them. I mean, who they're, can they're keep all up? preaching with the <laughs> they... And they all the pastors. So come on, give me a break here. <laughs> all right. Wow. So, so were you ex were you guys expecting this 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 calling this to come like that? This this role. May I say this? I'm going to start the answer to this question. So. Um, so the answer is no, but you know, it, it, it's um, such a wonderful way that the Lord does what he does. Absolutely. Uh, um, several years ago now, we've been married now 18 years. But, uh, yay. Probably at the time, I think, let me see, we had to have been married about eight. No, that's a minute. Okay, I'm going further back. I'm starting oh, further sorry, back. Oh, sorry, sorry, go back. But anyway, at the time we'd been married about um, less than five. Okay. Uh, probably, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to say less than five because our kids were, um, one of them had just turned three and one of them okay. and two twins had just turned one. But wow. one Sunday morning, um, I was awakened because the Lord had been, I'm going to tell the story nicely, so don't worry. But I had been awakened. <laughs> Lord had been dealing with <laughs> Jessica, not Pastor Jessica. The Lord had right. been with Jessica, and between what He gave her in a dream, fulfilled, okay. shown to be true later that same morning. It was on a Sunday morning. Wow. Between what the Lord gave her in her dream and showed by that by eleven or before noon that Sunday morning that the thing dreamed was true. And between that and the prayers that I had been praying in the closet, uh, you know, in the weeks that led up to that, right. something that we had, the Lord led us to move from our Ukaipa home where we lived 
with no apparent reason except the Lord was moving us to move. Right, my goodness. Our three babies, we moved out like Abraham and Sarah, didn't know where we were going. True. Right. The Lord gave us a place where we landed and he, he, uh, he, he gave us- um, He just protected us. He there. protected us, yes. He protected right. us. Gotcha. Word I use for that, but I'm just gonna say, he just covered us there. I'll use that word for now. And uh, for about, it was almost three, about two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And then just as surely, just as suddenly as the Lord told us to move, in just that same way, and again in dreams and visions, okay. wow. was that we, that Jessica would be taking over the Grace Chapel Church. Wow! Yeah. As fast as he moved us out, he moved us right back into a whole new setting. And My so, goodness. you know, it was during those years we were worshiping in Carson, and and I was having a good time, you know. And I was oh yeah, of course. Wow. It was a good time. I was serving my father in the same way, but Nathan, we talked about being the, the guy behind the scenes that yeah, absolutely. keeps everything running. Well, that's how, what I felt like I, you know, what um, I was, you know, I learned to do, if, you know, from my father. Uh, but, and then when it was time for that, the Lord just slid us right back into this new situation and boom, we, you know, we, we had to, we had to operate. We had I mean, to adapt. Right. 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 No me, warning, no nothing. <laughs> not much. Not much, just a little. But let me see how the Lord does. I'll say this to your uh, wonderful musician, talented uh, wife, the singer, <laughs> play, keyboardist and yes. all. That, that I, I said I had been a bass player, you know, since my teen years and, you know, whatever. I, I, I like to think I was. But, but, the, uh, but during that time when we were covered there, there was a gentleman that came to play the keyboard of my father's church, mm -hmm. and he said he gave lessons and said, you know what? I always wanted to learn how to play the piano. Right, right. I studied with that man for, for a year. He was faithful at it, yeah. <laughs> and he, he, was, he was a good teacher. Uh, King Felton is his name. I studied okay. with him for a year, and then he had a transition that changed in his life, and he said, well, I'm going to have to stop teaching. I said, what am I going to do with what I just learned? And then, boom. The Lord moved us right back wow. to Sam. Wow. Found out. Piano player. <laughs> yeah, be careful what you ask for there. <laughs> the Lord knows what he's doing, even Absolutely. when we don't know what he's doing. So, wow. wow. Yeah. I anticipate, except that the Lord had prepared us, right? Yes. Coming into this position so quickly and so swiftly. But by his hand, by miracles, by signs, by wonders, the Lord has confirmed it time and time yes, again. Yes, yes, yes. We're supposed to be. Um, our marriage is strengthened because you have to be to do ministry, to be quite honest. Right, right. You don't have time to be fussing and fighting people. Everything need, gets people forgiven need, by Sunday. People need <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> Forgiving your spouse. Right, so right. Your room, right. And so we have learned so much. God has been so gracious. We that's beautiful. We don't have time to fight against each other because there's a lot of battles to fight together. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Beautiful. You have a real enemy, and it's not your spouse. Um, right. Yeah. Something to really do because I think a lot of times I'll just throw this one in. A lot of times, if if the marriage doesn't have a purpose, right? They sometimes fight against each other. Right. When you know that you have a purpose and it involves souls, like where my people, Lord salvation is, my so Lord, you have to work all that other stuff out and put yeah. it. Yeah, keep moving forward. Wow. forward. Yeah, wow. that's. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's amazing how okay. God will arrest you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, we know click, this. Click, I know, it. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. So you know, you know, uh, we have come to the end of the show. Yeah. Beautiful. You guys shared a lot of valuable information. Oh my And I'm just God. gonna throw this out there. I would really love to have you guys come, come back. back, but I would love to have you guys come and, and somehow we're going to figure out how to get 
these men on the, on show. the show with yeah, you. The, these count. diligent workers that you guys yes. have. I definitely need the, the sergeant at arms there. That oh, guy yeah. was, he on, was that on guy post. was on it. Oh. And uh, so you know, you guys figured out, but we I would love oh, to yes. have your members, a few of your members come on and just share, share. with us. You know, what the they're benefit doing. Yes. and the blessing of being a part of this, oh, this ministry. My gosh. This is not a ministry where you just come and sit and hear the word. No, no, you no. You know, you're going to have to Everybody. build a couple of houses on yeah, your way in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the engine <laughs> in the car. You know? <laughs> and so, and so uh -huh. I would love to hear them share yes. with us about their journey uh, yes, we have through to do that. grace. Chapel, Chapel, you know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, say that again. You broke up. That would be wonderful. We would. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. We appreciate we'll that. We'll have to plan that. Yeah, soon. we'll plan that. We're going to talk about that. But uh, we really appreciate you guys. We yes. don't know. We, we, we're trying to discipline ourselves. When we first started this, we said we were going to be up for 30 minutes, I think. It went to, it went to an hour. And then the hour went to two hours. Yeah, it, there were times. We have had shows where we were on for like two, two and a half hours, hours yeah, you know. And so, okay. Yeah, and so, you know, so we decided that we were going to try and discipline ourselves behave. to one hour. Yeah, behave. And, and that, way, that way you guys would be happy to come, come back. Come back, yeah, right. You know, you know. <laughs> We have to leave everybody in a little bit of suspense. Yeah, a little bit of suspense, suspense. right? Yes. right. Yes. But you guys did a wonderful, wonderful job. Wonderful job. You know, thank you for just sharing with us the vision. Yes. You yes. know, the the walk. Yeah. You know, the trials. All yeah. of those things come, yeah. and so I'm gonna have. Normally, we have you guys close out. I'm gonna have my wife close out in prayer oh, because amen. I want her to pray for this. Oh, door wow. that God is about mm. to open it's as far as the airport, yes. the travel. Yes. You know, we want God mm. to Hallelujah. arrest everyone who flies into that <laughs> airport and, and make them yes. come yes. to Grace Chapel. Yes. You know, yes. and so and so that's what we want to wow. do. You know, we uh -huh. we we pray God's blessings upon you guys. And up on your children. Please don't forget to pray for the oh, children. Oh, we can't forget the kids. Those kids are amazing, you yes, know. And uh, and, and and I don't. They didn't. They wasn't acting like you know. They had a gun to the head. No, you know. Very happy. They have adapted. This is yes, the life God has yes, gave us, yes. planned for us, and and they know ahead of time that it takes a family to make the family's dreams come true. You know, and so, you know, you guys are really blessed to have your children, you know, as young as they are, when most kids their age is into all kind of nonsense, you know, that they have committed it, their, their lives and their times to serving their parents who are serving the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Amen. So, baby, I'm going to ask that you pray us out and, and, and pray that God will arrest every airplane that flies in there with passengers you know we, you know and that that the church your, your church will become a wholesome name yeah and san, name. And, and san bernardino that yeah. everyone will have heard that name mm -hmm. i'm going to start sending people to you guys website yeah. you know uh, pastor jessica i've never I, I, I'm not sure if I ever heard you preach in person, but I started looking you up online after I came okay. here. And okay. you, and girl, you're awesome. Oh, bless you. You're awesome. You're awesome. And I know that the man of God is a teacher. Oh, I yes. know that. Yes. I've yes. heard him. I've heard him. And so you guys are a blessing to each yes. other and a blessing to, to us, yes. a blessing to the body of Christ. And you guys are definitely a blessing to the city of San Bernardino. Yes, yes, yes. We just received that. Thank right. you so much. Amen. Did you all have any final thoughts you wanted to share? We just want to say that we love you guys so much. Love you guys. Yeah. You all ministering at our church. And I'm telling you, after service, we had so many people call us, contact us. <laughs> And, and we went out to dinner with some of the saints and they said, Pastor, that was an anointed service. <laughs> God is good. 
assassinate you being the poet that you are, you will have to, we will have to commission a work of poetry for us. Yes. <laughs> would you please <laughs> bless yes. us that way? I did not know that about you, but I was so glad to find out. Yes. Yeah, my wife sort of just sketched me in to that, you know, ahead of time. Thank Honey. God I memorized them because I would be up there like, huh, what? Honey. Yeah, yeah. That art in the body of Christ. We need it. It is. Yeah. We need more. Praise God. Thank you so much for that compliment. Yeah. I appreciate it. Pastor Thomas. I'll make a comment, which is something that um, the Lord uh, impressed upon me while uh, Minister Burnett was, uh, was ministering, Pastor right. Burnett. Um, that um, that when you were speaking about your background in education as a principal, and I mentioned this to you the other day, mm -hmm. that and it struck me that all the background that we have, mm -hmm. all the education that we learn, mm -hmm. all the Nathan, all your experience and in, in all of the areas, and you know, mm -hmm. media and uh, all that, right. all those right. things, all those things work together. Yes, of where the Lord is having us my now. My God, my God. Right. Nothing so, wasted. Yeah, nothing wasted. Yeah, so all of our experience, wasted, yeah. all of our experience, <laughs> all the good, the bad, you know, just whatever. It's yeah. Together to, you know, to enable us to be able to serve the Lord and to minister to people yeah. the way that we find ourselves doing right now and lord only knows where it's all going mm. you are right you know yeah. that 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 is so powerful because i always uh, I, I always wonder lord I, I i was a kid i was dedicated to your word mm. and i was just so committed to you in the church and and so where did i go crazy you know <laughs> and, and, and and so you know thank you for that answer right. man of god yeah. because you know the Lord had to let us experience things, things so we yeah. can reach the people. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Right. So he gave us all certain trials, yes. certain tribulations. Yes. He let us go through certain hills and valleys Ooh, and plains. Because if we have, that, you know, I, I, I'll say this, and then I'm going to let Bernetta uh, pray. I remember when I first started going into the prison ministry, I was a young, young minister on fire, preaching fire and brimstone, <laughs> you know, and, 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 I and I remember, you know, like, Lord, well, you know, what happened, you know, and, and I remember taking a bunch of men into the prison and we were sent to a, a gang war. Mm. And these men were, you know, just, just preaching and teaching and stuff. And when we gave the young men a chance to speak, the, the only thing they wanted to know, have you ever been in the gang? Mm. Have you ever did a drive-by? Have you ever used, and, and, if, and if your answer was no to all of those questions, their conclusion was, well, you can't help me. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we know that's not true, but right. that's the frame of mind that the world has. And so God has allowed a few of us, mm -hmm. you know, to go through something. Right. So when we, so, so they, they went around to all these guys, these guys, well, you can't tell me nothing, but when they got to me, uh, hey! <laughs> All right. I had done that, and then you so <laughs> you, can, you can say good enough for all the rest of them, right? <laughs> right. So I made up for all, all of the stuff that they didn't do. I did enough for all of us, and so God, <laughs> God is amazing like that, it's you know. Like it, it, that. And the good thing about Him, He don't let us stay out there, right? He okay. let us experience it. He helped us to overcome it. Yeah. And then he give us a testimony. Yes. Now we can reach somebody else that's yes. going through the same thing that we have to struggle through. And so, hey, that's what a sacrifice is, right? Jesus did it. He went through it. Yeah. You know, oh, wow. so we that's just so thank good. God for that. Yeah. Wow, wow. Um, it brings me meaning to what Peter says, you know, when he says that God has given us all things that pertain right, unto right. life all things. and godliness. All things. <laughs> we didn't think of prison. The some, prison things, some things you just didn't want to know, but God gave it to you. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. And they all work together for the good. It's all they in all there. work together. It's all right, in there. right, right. What a blessing. You all are amazing. We love you so much. And certainly we're just grateful that you had the time to come and 
We are thankful for the wonderful um, example of ministry, true ministry that you all are. And yeah. We look forward to being able to support you. I, want, I definitely want to pay for Absolutely. the first sign you guys put up in the airport. I want to help donate to that, help Ooh. raise some monies for the Absolutely. first sign for Grace Chapel Absolutely. in the San Bernardino airport. Absolutely. Welcome to your new church. I love All right it. Now. That's what <laughs> Welcome to your new church, your favorite church. I love it. Um, I can't wait. That's going to be so exciting. So I'm going I'm I'm to help run that fundraising event. We're going to do something and make sure we can pay for that. But we are grateful to know you guys. Very and grateful. Look, at, I know you're so busy, but hopefully we can get together, you know? No, we will. Go do something fun. We will. And uh, hang I was out with tell y'all just, just leave the key under the mat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. Yes. Oh. Amen. Well, all right. Now, look, yeah, now we're over time, honey. Jeez. Yeah, let's go ahead and pray. All right. Well, let's pray. Let's pray. Lord, Dear you. Heavenly Father, we do. We thank you for this time together. Thank, thank you, you Lord, for thank you. just the fellowship of love and the hearts, bless our you, hearts Lord, joining together you, in serving you and loving you. And we do lift up this amazing couple. Thank you, you so bless much. You, Lord. For Elder Thomas and Pastor yes, Jessica and yes, the Grace yes, Jesus, um, Chapel family. And we bless say you, hallelujah. Lord, we hallelujah. thank you for the anointing and the calling that rests upon their lives. And hallelujah. certainly their children and the heritage that yes, um, they yes, carry Lord. and that they're passing on yes, um, through uh, the, this wonderful family. And Lord, we just pray for them. Hallelujah. Come on, you all on the line, pray for them. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you now for yes, Lord. Uh, covering them in a very special yes, way. I thank God, you for supernatural Jesus. increase supernatural on every side. Increase, I thank you for Lord. blessing their Financial bodies and blessing their increase, finances, Lord. blessing Lord, their family. Lord. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for supernatural strength and yes. encouragement, yes, oh God. God. We thank you for supernatural levels of wisdom and understanding. We thank you now for blessing every part, hallelujah, every part hallelujah. of the ministry, oh God, that you have blessed them and graced them Lord, to put Lord. into place. And now we thank you, Lord. We lift up every place, oh God, and we ask you now to feel every empty thing, oh God. We speak to every uh, concern, In every issue, oh God, every challenge. And we thank you now that you meet every need according, hallelujah, to your riches and glory by yes, Christ Jesus. God. I thank you for every member. I thank you for every new ministry. We thank you for the work that they're doing with the homeless, those, the women's shelter and the men's shelter, what, whatever other things we, we know that you are uh, bringing to pass. Lord, we thank you yes, that the Lord. elemental things Open that they the are putting also. order yes, in order, yes. I thank you that you're about to bless it. Oh God, everything. And we thank you for new levels of unity and new levels, oh God, hallelujah, yes, of Lord. fellowship and new levels of love among them. Oh God, hallelujah. We thank you for this new portal, this new door that you're opening with the city of San Bernardino and the yes, new God. airport. Yes, and God. we thank you now that there yes, will be God. a funnel of hallelujah. new souls, a funnel, hallelujah, of income, a funnel, oh God, hallelujah, yes, of Jesus. workers, those that will join this ministry, and we thank you for that epic explosion, oh yes, God, yes, as they yes, become God. known, yes, renowned yes, yes, throughout yes, the city. I thank you yes, for connections yes, with the yes, mayor, yes, connections yes. with the city council. Lord, I thank you for Lord, connections, oh God, with those that are in leadership, Lord, that this church's connection. name, oh God, yes. will be in their mouths. Oh, I thank you. Thank you now that you continue to make them the beacon, oh God, in that place. Lord, the light and the salt, oh God. Lord, that they will see new things come forth like yes, never before. Yes, I thank you for their reaching, oh God. Hallelujah. That they'll have new inroads, God. Hallelujah. Oh God. And I thank you, Lord, that there will be those that will come and bring the provision that is needed to make everything yes. happen. Jesus. We bless you in advance for bless what you now, you're Lord. about to bless do. You now, we thank you, oh God. As you go before them, oh God, and as you be their rear reward, oh God. Lord, I thank you for connections that you will bring from the north, south, east, and the west. And we thank you now that they will be thank a you. great planting thank in you. the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. We receive that. We speak special joy over their yes, marriage, Lord. oh God. Continue the to unify Jesus. them together. We speak yes, special yes, blessing yes, and Lord. unity over their family, oh God, as they serve before you, Lord, that they will.
that will receive a pleasant reward from you. We thank you for that. Thank now you. go before us, thank take you. us from this place, Lord. I thank you that they'll be back, Lord, with uh, on another show to share yes, more of their yes. uh, special treats from you. We thank you for that. And we ask you for all these things. We receive them thank done. Thank you now, Lord. Thank God in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. 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 And Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. We love it. We love it. We love it. Thank you guys, we love you guys so, so much, much for spending the time with for us. spending time with us. We're a little over time, but it was so worth it. It yeah. was so yes, worth yes, it. Yes. And you guys can feel free to say goodnight as we as we say goodnight to the rest of yes, our So you guys can go guests. ahead and, go log, ahead off. and log off. God bless you guys. Love you. Love you. God bless. Love, love Grace Chapel. Amen. Love Grace Chapel. Amen. Oh, my goodness. Thank God. All right, you all, we do apologize Amen. for being a bit tardy, but you know what? That was a good show. Yes, I tell yes, you, I know yes. you're encouraged. Hey, you know, be encouraged to go out and do something. Uh, all of those, you know, that grace of gather and anointing. And uh, I don't know, what was it? It was more. Uh, look that up and uh, help us be a blessing to them. If you want to give to Grace Chapel, you can go to their website. I think it's gracechapelsb.org and you can just bless them or leave them a message and let them know how much you appreciate it. They are doing some wonderful work out there. Amen, amen. We want to say thank you. Oh God, thank you so much, Mama Ernestine. We appreciate you amen, like never before. Amen. Thank you, oh God, Miss Moni, the hostess with the mostest. And yes, if you feel led, would you, would you support this ministry? Would you help us to be a blessing to others and i see that nani has put the cash app and the zell information there and uh, just know that every penny you you give goes to our guests or the the worthy causes that we absolutely support and uh we definitely love the children in kenya we we're doing chill charities and, and we don't use any of that money for any personal absolutely. reason whatsoever so we want to thank god for all of our givers all of those of you um i want to mention yeah, um, you, pastor benny pettit yes, i want to mention um uh, sister um uh, Nakia Miller, who gives on a regular basis, yes, you all, yes, you yes. are such a joy to our hearts, and we truly appreciate that. Um, we're excited to be here every week with you. We love you guys. It's our favorite night of the week. Thank you for hanging in there with us. We'll be back next week. Right now, I'm not clear what our show is going to be about, but we promise it's going to be good. <laughs> we love you. God bless Anita, you guys. Good Anita, night. it was good to see you on the line. It was good to see you. Thank you so much, love you all. You Mom Thanks, Newman, Monica. Thanks. we love you guys. Uh, Minister Thanks. Connie, thank God for you and Prophet all of you Ernestine. all. Yes, all Cynthia, you oh, Glennis. Cynthia. And oh, Amen. yes, and Glennis was on tonight. Thank you, sweet baby, for coming on. We love all of you so, so, so much. Meet us back here next week at the same time. We'll see you then. God bless. God bless.